Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in central Laos. We're in a small village called Talang. We stayed here overnight yesterday because we're doing the three or four day Takek loop that goes all the way around from Takek all the way up and then back down into Takek. It's got loads of scenic roads, waterfalls, temples, caves. It's an absolutely beautiful road to drive on. We actually rented a car from Vientiane to drive all the way down to Paxé and this road trip or this loop is somewhere in the middle. That first road trip from Vientiane to Takek was treacherous. The roads were potholes after potholes after potholes and we had to drive in the dark. It was terrible. We are currently in a place called Fossi Talang. Now this is where we arrived last night thinking that it was our hotel. It was not. <laughs> our hotel is just down the road and it's called Fossi Garden but I think they're kind of interconnected connected because last night when we had dinner here we managed to pay for our hotel which was only nine US dollars for the night which is an epic deal if you ask me private bathroom private room pretty good night's sleep actually if you haven't been switched on to putting sweetened condensed milk in your coffee yet you're really missing out unless you don't like sweet things in which case don't do it but we've got this epic location here to have breakfast Yesterday when we came for dinner, there was people already sat in this table, so we didn't get the epic table, but this morning we got the epic table. Look at that view. <laughs> that looks so unhealthy, but it's so delicious. <laughs> this food looks epic. Looks like the best breakfast we've had yet. Three eggs in a shakshuka. Oh, that's probably not Lao, but it looked good on the menu. And the person who sat here before us said the shakshuka was good, so... Yeah, it looks awesome. I probably have chocolate all over my teeth. <laughs> I know that like a banana pancake is probably also not a loud dish, but it's so good. Mm. It's so good. Nice and fluffy. Mm. Yeah, it's thick chocolate sauce. Mm. <laughs> mm. This will fill us up properly for this road trip, which I'm really excited for. Day one was immense. Those roads were Probably was some of the nicest looking roads I've mm -hmm. ever driven on. And I can't wait for day two because I think we're higher elevation. So we're going to see way more viewpoints and stuff. Now that was a really nice breakfast. I'd 100% recommend this place if you're doing the Takek Loop. The town's called Talang. And these two places are Fozzi Talang and Fozzi Garden Resort. Yeah. <laughs> but there's also one other reason that you need to stay here. If you're coming very soon, that is. Let us show you. <laughs> this is the reason you need to come here. I don't think we're going to be able to leave today. I think if the only way we can leave is if we take all of these puppies with us. <laughs> so next scene, us in the car. Go, go, go. Oh, those puppies are so cute. There's so many of them. Yesterday when we were having dinner, we just started hearing like... Yeah, yeah. And we thought like, there's puppies. There's puppies somewhere. We were searching around, looking everywhere. And all of a sudden, <laughs> this flood of puppies just come at us oh so cute everyone went crazy for them <laughs> every single person that was in there which was not that many to be fair everyone was just like oh my god i love these puppies oh so cute you want to drive? drive today no nah, okay no <laughs> no it's okay day two of this epic road trip ready to go yeah Today we've been driving along for about half an hour now since we had breakfast and the landscape has changed about three times over. It went from jungle winding roads through the mountains to now really flat wide plains of what looks like farmland with a mixture of jungle. It looks very Jurassic Park in the best way possible because it's yeah. sort of still got this mountainous outline everywhere. The weather has kind of come a little bit cloudy today. And it's colder. And it's much, much colder. You can tell we've probably risen in elevation a fair amount, or it's just definitely a colder day, but there's clouds all around, which gives it this really cool look. It looks beautiful. Just stopped in a place called Laksau just to grab some drinks from the shop here. And just look at that view. Wow. With the clouds all around, it looks super cool. Uh, 
Oh, I will. Yes. yes. Straight for it. <laughs> Sweetie. Mm -hmm. We were looking online at the Takek Loop and it seemed like there were no shops, no petrol stations along the way. A lot of blogs were saying that there wasn't much on the road. We've passed about a hundred of shops like this. Yeah. Snacks, drinks, petrol, everywhere. Yeah. That's not exaggeration. There's been stuff everywhere. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Grab a drink. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I thought you had it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Everyone is literally so welcoming on this trip as well. Everyone's yeah. waving to us, saying yeah. hello. Yeah. It's really nice. Especially the kids. They like start screaming and giggling and waving. A lot of them know how to say hello in English, so it's very exciting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Bit of Red Bull for the road. I know you keep telling us in the comments that we should probably stop drinking these. We don't drink them every day, honestly. <laughs> Just like when we need a, a caffeine boost, you know? Like, I'm driving right now, so I need to be alert. That's my excuse. I, if there was a cafe here, we probably would have gone for a coffee instead, but I love the taste of Red Bull. Oh, hold on. Ah, trying to do it one-handed over there. Awesome. <laughs> we do love the taste of Red Bull, and especially Red Bull here in Southeast Asia is way tastier because it doesn't tend to have the yes. um, fizziness. Because Adriana is left-handed and I'm right-handed, we always have to choose where to sit. And <laughs> obviously in a car, you can't really choose because I'm driving, but we always <laughs> knock hands and then she's going for the drink and I'm going for the drink and it's like, Oh, you I swear, he's always complaining. Technically, I'm ambidextrous because I think most left-handed people are but my right arm doesn't do things as well as my left one. So you'll just have to cope with it. It's part of me. <laughs> love me for me, okay? <laughs> Left hand and all. I love you, but it's annoying. <laughs> Parking. Oh, excellent. I was gonna drive down there, but I saw this sign. So, do we park here? Yeah, and I'm seeing a sign right there that has a cup of coffee on it, Wi Fi on it, and a toilet on it. So, everything we need, everything we need, including also a dragon cave, which sounds pretty cool. Welcome, welcome, thank you. I can see a cafe, I think. Well, we just had a Red Bull, so we probably don't need any more caffeine right now. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> maybe after the cave. Who knows? Yeah. Two tickets. Two tickets. As you guys would have seen already, we are heading towards something called Dragon Cave. So there's a Dragon Cave and a viewpoint in this area. I think there's also a restaurant which we might check out on our way out uh, for some restaurant. lunch. That might be the restaurant that we were just passing through. Either way, the Dragon Cave, I think, gets its name from sort of how long and slim the actual cave is. But we haven't been inside yet, but apparently it's quite cool. It went real cavey, real fast. So Whoa. we're outside, beautiful, then this is where we're heading next. Whoa! I, we mentioned in the last video that we weren't huge cave people. I thought, maybe I've been converted, but that, that actually looks terrifying. That does look terrifying. Is this the right way? Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wow. So I cannot stand up. I will hit my head. But this is cool. So I'm gonna walk and crouch. I think I could in some areas just about get away with walking straight, like here. But then there are little bits sticking down and I don't wanna chop them off slash scrape my head. Anyway, we are now in the dragon cave, as I'm sure you guys would have gathered. Oh, we can stand straight here. This is very different to the cave we were in yesterday. Yeah. It is lit up to a degree, but it is a lot more claustrophobic. I didn't think I used to like caves, but this is kind of fun, <laughs> isn't it? The top of the cave has lowered considerably. And we're both this is about a meter to... tall now, yeah. I'd say. So if you were a child, or rather short, you might be able to get away with walking straight. Oh, it's getting a little bit taller. This is a little bit intense though, I would say. Yeah, this is how it looks. Yeah. 
follow us into the darkness. <laughs> oh, I can stand straight. By the way, we're walking on something that feels like sandy beaches, except that we happen to be inside. Look at that. Opens up into a huge cave, and there is not a single other person in here right now. I can't see you. Because right now we passed two people that were heading out that way, which means that that must probably be the way out as well. Yeah, but there's a couple coming after us. Yeah. So if we're quick, we'll have this place to ourselves. God, I feel like Bear Grylls here. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there was a little bit of scary cave sections, but this cave section is considerably cooler. This is really nice, especially because there's not that many people. There's a path that goes up there. Is that There's the a path point? that goes this way too. Here. They replace the steps with just rock faces. Meter trucking, 400 meters. Okay, we're definitely in the right place because there's a trash can. From what we read online, this viewpoint, even though it's a 400 meter trek up this mountain, is the best view that someone on Google has ever seen of Laos. Ooh. Good? Yeah. Oh, steep. Wow. We are very much deep in the jungle right now. Whoa! Wow! Oh, that's so nice! That is worth it. Wow. That was quite a steep climb at the end as well. Cobwebs on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a steep climb. Wow. But... Wow. Oh, but totally, totally, totally worth it. I feel like that's something that Lao does very well. Coffee, obviously. And beautiful landscapes. I know a lot of other countries also have beautiful landscapes, but this is really nice because you literally see the road and on the left hand side, it's just like mountains, bit of rocks, loads of greenery and then the right hand side is like farmland beautiful. it's changing all the time it's very beautiful that was definitely worth the trek those kind of views are what you travel for i think finding like hidden spots like that all right let's get some food shall we yes please you do food oh can i sit here Lao coffee song. We're back again with a iced coffee. There's something about these Lao coffees. The coffee is so strong. The condensed milk in there is tasty. It kind of tastes chocolatey. Very, very sweet. Very nice. Perfect for us. On the road, it's always really simple just to ask for a fried rice. One, because they're delicious, affordable, and they usually have them. They had them on the menu today. It looks good, it looks delicious. This road trip has been awesome so far, but what we didn't realize is, uh, or we didn't take into account, is how long you take at stops. These guides that we saw on the internet were like stopping in six or seven places along the road. I don't know how that works because we've left quite early this morning and we've only stopped in, well, this is the first proper stop we've made and it's nearly already two o'clock and we're nowhere near the hotel for tonight and there's a few more stops to go. So you don't want to see any sights in the darkness, so... I feel like you just have to pick and choose wisely what you see. I'm gonna put this into four wheel drive. Oh, for the first time. <laughs> We're going off road a bit. A little bit, this looks like something has driven here at some point, but it also looks a little bit like a walking path. Um, it is, according to the maps, the way towards the waterfall that we're heading to now, which is called Nam Sanam Waterfall. Um, but on Google Maps, this road doesn't exist. We'll so see. that's... But maybe I'll come to an end now. <laughs> uh... Right, so we came out of that place because we couldn't drive down there. But I just looked on the internet and you can ride a motorbike down one kilometer and then you need to walk over moderately treacherous 
um, ground for another two kilometers, and they say it could take 40 to 50 minutes to get there, it's 10 past three already. So two hours, that would be like darkness. And then you need time there. It doesn't make much sense. It doesn't make sense, but also upon looking at the reviews, somebody didn't even find it. Maybe we'll have to <laughs> Another go to person Mex didn't find it. F pay 15,000 kip to find a pseudo untagged way. We did not find the waterfall. <laughs> Final stop of the day. Sun has come out. A bit windy up here, isn't it? Yes, it is. The um, good thing about this viewpoint, which is called the rock viewpoint or limestone viewpoint, is that it's uh, just about 100 meters away from where we're staying tonight. We'll show you that in just a second. It looks pretty cool. Wow, this viewpoint is incredible. Yeah, we the are. types of rocks that we're seeing here. We have, I don't think I've seen rocks like that before. They're kind of pointy. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like there's a zip line going all the way from. Here. Oh yeah. All the way over there. All the way down that way to the middle of that rock over there. And then probably back that way. I mean that's that's pretty cool. It's not really what we're here for today, but this view in itself is I think is just incredible to yeah. come up here for. So if you look right over there, those or one of those is actually where we're staying tonight. So we saw this place because it's the same company oh, yeah. where we stayed in Takek before we started this loop. And they also own another hotel here and I think another hotel somewhere else as well. But anyway, these little pods, so to speak, are right there. And I, I don't think we realized that we get such a good view, but it looks like they're all pointing this way. So if we get really lucky, our pod will have this awesome view. We didn't really know that this place existed next to our hotel, so we decided to have a drink here. We've got a beer now, and Adriana's got a, a summer's beer. Which is random because I thought that would be quite expensive here, but they're actually super affordable yeah. throughout Laos. Available everywhere. Pretty much everywhere, yeah. I quite like them, so <laughs> win. <laughs> but just look at this view. I had never even heard of this area of Laos before, but I'm so glad that we've come here. Wow. Yeah, this trip so far has been awesome. This is my first time in Laos. So already it's like super cool just to be here. But yeah. having this road trip as part of our trip to Laos, so it's not just arriving and taking a train and walking around cities, but seeing some of this amazing countryside is actually mind blowing. It is. Is it nice to do it with you? Cheers. Yeah, it's so windy. Cheers. Cheers. That was an awesome find. Let's go check into the hotel, shall we? Yeah! Woohoo! I actually can't wait. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Hi, Ready? How are you? Good. good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me. Yeah, yeah. Already. <laughs> Can you sign? Can yes. You oh, they already knew who we were. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah, so our room doesn't come with a shower or toilet, so we have to go over there, but it is a little cabin, like this. Oh, this looks so cute. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so nice. Hey, I can stand up. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. This is awesome. Wow. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that a toilet? No. Oh, toilet. It's toilet. Oh, I thought... Okay, only no shower. shower! Oh! Nice. Oh, great! So in the middle of the night, we don't have to actually run all the way to the shower section. Okay, uh, we have to give you a proper, proper tour, although you've probably seen the whole place already, but let's grab our bags first. Yes. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> We've got our bags from Bertie, so let's now give you a very quick tour of the Rock Lodge. The sun is literally setting as we speak, and there's a beautiful sort of golden light outside, and coming in to the lodge as well. It's very nice. Anyway, here there's a little coffee station, complimentary coffees, waters, a kettle, which I'm very excited about because we do actually have our pot noodles with us. On this side, we've got some more storage and towels. Oh, I didn't think about that. In bags, which is great because there's no actual shower room in this specific little cabin. There are some that do have it. They were fully booked. There were also some with double bed. They were fully booked. So here we got single beds, but they feel so good. They also look pretty big. They look pretty decent. I think this is like a one and a half sized. Oh, 
And yeah, that feels great. Best bed in Laos yet. Oh, easily. We've got a full on air conditioning that's nicely tucked away in here. And then outside, oh, there were very few pictures online of this place. So we didn't realize that it had this, but it does have this huge terrace that's essentially just as big as the cabin itself. And it's got seating all around and the two deck chairs that we also have. But what we didn't realize it had because they told us it comes without a bathroom is this. If the toilet. lady wouldn't have showed us, I don't think we would have known there's a toilet in there. No, I would have thought it was like a storage thing or something that has like a hot boiler or I don't know, something random in there. Full on toilet, flushing toilet, sink. But look at this view and look how golden the sun is. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably not coming across as beautifully as it is here, but yeah. we're going to wake up here. Oh, yes, breakfast is included. The place that we just had some drinks at. Yeah, we get to go there for free and have our breakfast. And apparently there's a little bit of a, there is a main road here also. I'm so happy. This is so nice. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down to the mini mat, grab a few drinks, sit out here and chill, watch the sun go down a little bit more. Cause tomorrow we have a day off to catch up on videos. We've filmed a lot of videos recently <laughs> and we're trying to post more often right now. And then the day after we're doing the next leg of this road trip down south. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. So